Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill. Today we are going to play with a Thunder Slow, the tank which is, which is kind of, you know, Sherman version or one of the Shermans out there. Greetings clicker. Um, it is quite slow, but it has a bit of the armor. In the end of the video, I will show you the ratings of this vehicle for a tier 6 medium tank in the index page, so you will see everything what I am talking about. Um, and all in all, this tank is not horrible. It has quite a bit of armor, which is very, very nice. It has typical Sherman gun low alpha damage, 115, but you have quite nice golden ammunition and you will see everything yourself. So all in all, it has 128mm of penetration, 800 shell velocity, and with a gold you have 1000 shell velocity and 177mm of penetration, which you can say whatever you want it is. It is pretty decent for a tier 6, and whenever you are having a matchmaking against the lower tiers, it is, it is like a bread and butter for you. Now, one thing which I really want to say, you can play with this vehicle against the, against the heavy tanks of your equal tier. Obviously, you do not really want to be too aggressive against the, against the tier 7s. You do not want to approach the CS44 just because CS44 has such a, um, such a good alpha damage and overall it is kind of a heavy tank. And in fact, I would say it is definitely underrated vehicle speaking about the standards of the tier 7 tanks, right? So you want to choose your opponents wisely. In this game, we are not going to focus on the damage mainly. You see how many sniper schnitzels do we have? Um, we have Boogie, we have Kava 2, we have Kava 1, we have Ikea, we have Type 62, we have um, the P43 Ter, and we have Jeffs. So we are just chilling here. And even though it looks very, very weird, no skill, how can you be so aggressive? This is the right way to do the things, fellas, because you can simply uh, punish enemies, whoever is uh, trying to make um, some kind of pressure. This is exactly what we are aiming for, and this is what we are trying to do, right? So in this situation, we are chilling here, we are trying to proxy spot enemies whenever they are going to be a bit um, aggressive, we are going to make sure they will regret their life choices and they, they will ask themselves, why do I play aggressively? This is what we are doing. We are kind of safe from Arta unless Arta will hit the stone so Arta will splash us, but other than that we are feeling um, pretty well and once again we are on the relaxation. So at this point let's wait until our cavalry arrive and um, they will uh, help us out to clear this flank if obviously they are going to be aggressive. Okay. Now we have couple of the tier sixes, one, two, and when and one tier seven. So now at this point we can actually get a bit involved. You know, we can start thinking, hmm, how we can spank them like there is no tomorrow, huh? This is the thing. I think CS44 is actually trying to relocate, and yeah, it was looking like it's the case, but now he's joining. Uh, um, he's uh, trying to create the crossfire for us. Whoops. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I apologize. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. Once again, you see, I am noticing this guy playing here. And we need to figure out how we could get involved and how we can spank him like there is no tomorrow. So I think in this situation, we need to figure out how to start flanking them without losing... Uh, any HP whatsoever. This is this is the deal for us and this is how we need to play. Speaking about the playing and speaking about the deals, there is a TOG. I do not really want to shoot the TOG even though I know it is against the law of the world of tanks. You see TOG, you farm him, you treat him like a bratwurst sausage and you are nyum, 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 eating him but this is not what we want to do. It is not really worth it at this point. LTG, that's okay. Oh, this is what we want to see. Look at this beauty. Tier 7 heavy tank in the middle of the field. That's quite weird. We this is quite weird, fellas, I would say. 
is not looking directly at me, that's good. I really want to spank him in the lower plate if I can say so. We are getting some assisting damage from this guy panicking a bit. But this is not looking ideal. Good. 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 We are being annoying for the enemies. That's the most important thing, fellas. Sometimes being annoying is the way to go in the world of tanks. Especially if you are not a top dog in the field. Keep this in mind, fellas. Okay. Ikea will try to take his position where he was playing before now, I am pretty sure about this. And CS44 will try to make a bit of pressure like this as well. I kind of want to have the APCR ammunition for the CS44, but by the looks of it he doesn't want to get as involved as I initially thought he wants to go, right? Let's keep this in mind. Time is our ally. Um, all we need to do, we need to pretty much be on the full relaxation and wait until they are going to make a mistake. That's all we need to do in this game. That's all we need to do. Now, the biggest question is, will Ikea... Yes, I see the minimap, I see what LTG is doing. He is trying to go aggressively against our... Type 62, which is completely understandable, and if he will go up, we are going to spank him for amazing 100 damage. If he is not going to go up, then we are not going to do that, and look at this, 118, good, can we spank him for another time? Yes, we can. Trying to craft another angle, unfortunately, it's not so simple as I would love to say. He's trying to get involved once again. Bad aim by me. I'm spotted. That basically means Arta might try to shoot me in a second, but it doesn't really matter. I will hear if Arta is trying to shoot me. And this is exactly what we want to see. And LTG is dead. Excellent. Considering we are playing with a tier 6, this is very, very good, fellas. I am feeling extremely happy with all of this. All we need to do, we need to... We need to keep this position. Actually, there is no way enemies are going to um, eliminate all our guys in two minutes. There is no way. Uh, they were way too passive and unfortunately for the enemy team, they couldn't do shit. But what we can do in this situation, we can start farming this Ikea. Yeah, I see this, uh, that CS44. I'm very, very well aware of that gentleman, but... Once again, I wish to say everything would be so simple. Spank the fingers and you are killing them all. It is not so simple. Let's load the golden ammunition for a moment and I need to deal with CS44, okay? If we are going to kill CS44, we have pretty much way to go for uh, uh, eliminating the um, IKEA as well. We have two minutes. At this point, in my humble opinion, enemies cannot win this game anymore. They were way too passive. So in this situation, we are just going to farm. Tog crossed. I see. It is completely fine. We are going to hit this guy. Unfortunately, we missed. Doesn't really matter. I am trying to figure out can we have an angle on CS44. Unfortunately, we can. I paid attention, but I reacted way too slowly, unfortunately. Let's see. Can we spank the Ikea? Ikea is, is alive. Is he alive? He is still alive. Let's load the standard ammunition. I see I'm taking one for the team from the back. Yeah, I'm in the crossfire here. Not exactly what I was looking for. But once again, at this point, we do not have absolutely anything to lose. I know it sounds weird, but, 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 but skill, what do you mean you don't have anything to lose? The thing is, there is one minute in the game left, right? So, if I will die, I will be dead. If, if I won't die, I will survive, right? Simple as this. I heard how Arta coming, but that was too late. It's okay. Don't worry. Look. 2.7 thousand damage, well, excuse me, 2.7 thousand combined, it is, mwah, it is phenomenal score, I believe every single person would be happy with this, and I am feeling great, more games like this, let's teleport to the end of this game, and to the scoreboard. 
And we are back fellas, we finished everything with a second class with 1000 damage, 1.8 thousand assisting damage, which is completely fine. Um, we got 12,000 credits profits uh, for a premium tank, that's not very good, but we fired quite a bit of the gold ammunition to um, try to penetrate the CS44 or alternatively to eliminate IKEA, right? And all in all, everything went pretty well, we finished on the top of the board speaking about the experience. Now, what I really want to show for you, and maybe some of you are not familiar with that, we have the ratings in the index page speaking about the tier 6 levels or whatever else, right? So how armor is behaving, 3 stars would be average, so it's better than average armor. Speaking about the, um, speaking about the tier 6 tanks, I think it is quite beginner friendly, it has nice cooldown performance because it has a bit of the armor and it has gun depression. Uh, it, is, uh, it is average flexibility and so on so on so feel free to uh, check the things out uh, we are done with everything but tier 8 tier 9 and tier 10 heavy tanks and we are working to be done with this as well so I hope this is going to be useful information for you and in the same time fellas, uh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you are not that great in the English language and for example you are from Poland, kaboom, everything is translated, Spanish, kaboom, everything is translated, German, kaboom, everything is uh, translated, right? So um, keep this in mind boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen and hopefully um, this is going to be useful iteration of the index as well uh, for you right so the second game what do we have we have ruinberg and we have the standard battle that's excellent that's very very good so what do we want to do we want to go on the field i do not want to go on the field skill why you do not want to go on the field you see there is no one who is going together with us and i would highly recommend for this gentleman not to go as well um, we need to simply wait until enemies will make uh, a bit of pressure or alternatively we need to go in to the city. One more thing, uh, well, we need to sit somewhere over there or alternatively go into the city, that's what I'm trying to say. One more thing which I want to say, uh, I want to say uh, this tank average penetration is far away from being perfect. So what that basically means, that basically means uh, you need to shoot quite a bit of APCRs, especially whenever you are meeting the, um, whenever you are meeting the more armored tanks, it is very important thing to say. Meanwhile, to be completely honest with you, I think I can, I think I could get involved here. Uh, the main reason being is because all top dogs are spotted in the city. So what that basically means, that basically means we can get involved and even though if we are going to meet the um, Russian T-3485, it is not that big of a deal and this is not that big of the problem at this point. I think we just knock at his engine down uh, and this is excellent. Look at this, the Russian medium tank is now in the deep shithole, he's down to one shotable, so all we need to do, we need to find our keyboard, we need to uh, make pressure to this area and we are going to eliminate him from the game i mean we might need two shots but it doesn't really matter we should be all right although our team is losing by 1000 hit points already it doesn't look that horrible fellas it doesn't look that horrible there is still a lot of things for us to do and a lot of things to get use from speaking of getting use i should be fine to kill him nice none of the hit points lost and this gentleman is uh, out of order excellent achilles not spotted a starvavka sushtug if i will make pressure like this i think uh, this is not going to be so so fun i have a feeling this is not really worth it although what I could do, I could go for some blind shots because we have a bit of the time, right? That's what we have and now we are just simply getting some free use for ourselves. If we are not paying the price with our hit points, it is a free use, right? This is how it looks like. Okay, blind shots to the left, blind shots to the right. We are feeling completely fine here. 
and eventually enemies will start making pressure for us like this because our uh, our heavy flank was weaker than enemy flank was so what that basically means that basically means we are a bit in a bit of trouble I know I could potentially make pressure through the middle like this but I kind of want to um, go for a base defense I know this might be not the most popular choice uh, but I think this is uh, this is going to be the right decision in the long term <coughs> Because once again, this guy is not going to hold the five guns Tog is also using his keyboard on the 14 or 17 kilometers per hour tar -tar 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 -tar. He's going in so you know We need to do what we need to do We need to do what we need to do. Hmm. Minus 3000 hit points. That's not cool, fellas. Minus 3000 HP is a lot of HP deficit. In order for us to win this game, I do not even know how enemies need to mess up. I honestly have no clue. I want this dog to be aggressive and to push a bit in front because if I will start shooting him now it is not going to be that great because he is going to push back and it is going to be game over. So this is not what I am looking for and that's not what I want to do for obvious reasons, right? I want him to go a bit more in front. Actually now is the play and uh, now it is about the time to start shooting him. You see, the penetration of this vehicle is so low, even penetrating TOG is a challenge. And this is not what you want to see, this is not what you want to do. Right? Let's get real. So this is important thing to highlight. Even with a gold ammunition, this is a bit of the struggle to penetrate uh, um, tanks like IS. Which is quite shame, but oh well, what can you do? Meanwhile... There is a cover tree going through the open field and we should be able to farm him. All I need to do, I need to hit his upper plate like this. No, come on gun, you can do this. I believe in you. I believe in you gun. Ay, 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 ay. What is the right choice now? Do I want to build a bit of the distance or do I want to sit here? I think there is only one way how we can do the things and I think we need to build the distance at this point. Minus 5000 HP, quite sadness of the game, uh, but once again fellas, sometimes it happens when enemies simply have better team and if enemies have a better team, you know, you, you just simply cannot do absolutely anything, you know? You just simply cannot do absolutely anything. You need to accept it, you need to bend over and you need to say, yep, I'm ready. Go for it. Oi, 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 the gun. Gun is treating us pretty badly with this vehicle in this game, unfortunately. Three tanks capping the base. Unfortunately, there is nothing. I repeat, nothing what we can change about this. I will try to decap them just in case if it is possible, right? Tog is going through the open field. That's a beautiful shot for a Mr. Tog. There is another chance for us to spank him. Let's see. Do we have anyone nearby? There is a cover 3 going through the open field. No, can we penetrate him once before we will die? I think I'm spotted. If I am, I'm trying to make a different angle. And game over. It is okay. Listen. Um, I... As wrong as it sounds, I think in this game we are going to be the top dog. What do I mean by saying this? Um, I think in this battle we are going to be, uh, by experience, probably a top one, by damage, probably top two. This is my prediction. Um, and in the maps like this, it happens sometimes. And it's not about the map, to be fair with you. It is more likely about the team. Enemy team was stronger, they deserve it to win. So all in all, we are having a defeat. Unfortunate, but it happens. Uh, we are, <laughs> yeah, sure, second by the damage. We are first by the damage, first by experience, considering it was a tier, um, considering it was a tier 7 game. This is a great performance. And we lost 8,000 credits because this gun is deserving 
and asking um, some of the gold ammunition. It just does, you know. This is how this tank is looking like. Whenever you have no penetration, pfft, not much what you can change about this. Anyways, all in all, pretty good game. Let's go for round number three. Okay, great. So, what do we have for round number three? For round number three, we have steps and we have a sold game, right? Okay, okay. Let's see how much of the use we can actually um, get with this vehicle. Unfortunately for us, matchmaking sucks in this game, okay? Let's, let's get real. No one is going to say with a thunder slow. Yes, we are a bottom tier in the game. Amazing. The only one trade which we have is we have um, armor, which is not working against the tier 8s. Yay. You know, no one is going to say that. So this is not the matchmaking which we want to see. Nevertheless, we will try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can and we will try to get um, pretty much my goal would be to see I would say 2000 combined would be awesome 2000 combined would be epic score for us and I would be super duper hyper turbo happy if we would be able to achieve that that's what I am looking for now I have a feeling Comet and Cromwell, they made too much pressure. I want to believe they are going to get banged by our forces. And if they will have some help, you know, if they will have some gentlemen who will say, yay, let's make pressure, we are going to spank them as well. Now, for a Caliban, I am literally a snack. Caliban will say nom 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 and he is going to eat me without even asking my name. This is very important thing to say and to highlight overall. So I need to avoid peeking uh, against the tanks like this, okay? I just need to be extremely careful. Meanwhile, this gentleman is very, very kind for us. He is helping uh, for us to actually spank him like there is no tomorrow. And as you can see, we are trying to peek from the different angles so the Hellcat cannot pre-aim where we are going to peek and we are making his life pretty much as difficult as possible. That's what we are doing and this is what we are aiming for. So at this point we are sitting already okay. 800 damage, this is hip hip hooray, but well, 800 combined, this is okay considering the matchmaking. And now we are just sipping our coffee. Cheers, fellas. <sighs> we are sipping our coffee and we are enjoying ourselves while sitting here in the corner. Okay, Pavlak looks like he might try to make a bit of pressure like this. Okay, nice. Look at this. Our guys are already getting involved here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And once again, to repeat the same thing, beautiful. Meanwhile, Caliban is making pressure. This is not what our team would love to see. Um, T-150 can get spanked by this gentleman and this is not what he wants. If I would be the T-150, I would definitely shit my pants. I see I'm spotted. I know they have Arta. I couldn't care less at this point. I think Arta is working on the other flank or Arta is a fuck. That would be the typical Arta play, right? Meanwhile, at this point, I'm, I want to relocate a bit. Uh, since Caliban is dead, we can actually get involved here. The Edefede is fine, Gsor is fine. All we need to do, we need to get involved in this battle and we are going to be okay ourselves, right? Meanwhile, our Arta is supporting us as well, so that's great. Um, I would say we need to have APCRs for a Pavlak. Pavlak is a very, very powerful tank and Pavlak can actually be a humongous threat for us, right? Meanwhile, Panzer is the first victim who is going to be claimed. That's one for the team, that's two for the team. He is officially dead. Now we are going to deal with Mr. Pavlak. Uh, if I would be Pavlak, I would be very, very unhappy about the situation because I know where I can penetrate this gentleman. I know he is not feeling very happy about this and I know he is pretty much dead me. If you are f finding Pavlak, aim... Um, Aim for a bra line uh, for him and you are going to spank him like there is now tomorrow. Meanwhile, enemy Jeff woke up. Uh, good morning, sunshine. Uh, he hit us for a very first time. Not a biggie. Not a biggie, fellas. 
And look at this, T3485 taking my time to aim, unfortunately missing first aim at shot, second shot, yeah the gun handling of this tank is in the best case scenario average if you know what I mean. And this is exactly what I said um, in the index page speaking about the gun handling rating, right? Uh, is he going to make pressure like this? It doesn't really look like it. And yeah, this is a game over for enemies. Great victory. I said I would love to get 2,000 combined in matchmaking like this. And we have 1.8 thousand. I cannot complain about this. So let's teleport to the scoreboard. We are back. 1.7 thousand damage, 100 assisting damage, great game overall by the Thunder Slow. Uh, it was a good performance, we even made credits which is surprising considering we were a bottom tier so we spammed quite a bit of the gold. And all and all our performance with this tank is 1.4 thousand damage and 800 assisting damage. So it is bringing us uh, our, uh, our score for, uh, for 2.2 thousand or 2.3 thousand. This is very very good performance. I know it might look weird, but still only 1.4 thousand damage. Not everything is in the damage. A lot of things are... Um how are you playing the game and the first battle we were very very useful by spotting the enemies that was pretty much the game changer overall here so it is absolutely amazing would i recommend to buy this tank to be completely honest with you not really i think there is a better tanks in the game and i do not really think this tank is um epic i don't think this tank is awesome and i would not say this tank is the best tank in the world of tanks although for beginner this frontal arm can treat you relatively well although once again you need to shoot this tank in the turret and you are going to be just fine anyways thank you very much for watching i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace